There's a danger though in, in saying, oh, I'm just an observer. I'm gonna sit back and not take sides because that can also be a recipe for inaction. And I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about rejecting the prescriptions for action that both sides might offer. When they say the issue is about this, which side are you on? No matter which side you pick, you're still agreeing that the issue is about this. And letting, if, if there's a deeper cause that both sides are ignoring and deeper agreements that both sides share that actually generate the problem to begin with, then no matter which side you pick, you're still part of the problem. So for example, you know, in this country, there's a, in fact, a lot of countries, there's a big immigration debate. Which side are you on? Are you on the side that would like to let these people in and, and welcome them into this country to escape the hardships and dangers of where they came from? Or are you on the side that wants to keep them out because they're a different skin color or something like that? Which side are you on? Well, neither side is asking the important questions, such as why are all these people wanting to immigrate in the first place? What makes life in their home country so unlivable that they would risk everything, leave their families behind, leave their traditions behind, leave their language behind for a completely uncertain future, sometimes at the hands of human smugglers? Like, what would it take for you to do that? Why, what's, what has made their, their home unlivable? And when you start asking those questions, you reach uncomfortable territory for a couple reasons. One being that there's no longer an easy solution. The easy solution is, you know, build a wall, keep them out. The easy solution depends on identifying one cause, a single cause that's outside of yourself, something you can fight, like a germ that you can kill or a weed that you can pull up. But when you ask these deeper questions, you come to answers like, the global economic system, neoliberal capitalism, um, military imperialism, that, that, that are not, they're so all-encompassing that there's no easy solution. There's, no, there's nothing to fight because you're a part of it too. And that's the second uncomfortable thing is that you're part of it too. I'm part of it too. Our daily lives, our, our routines, our way of life is deeply impl implicated in all of these you know, imperialism, capitalism, et cetera, et cetera. So we don't know what to do and it involves ourselves. Like you can't push it out onto an other. So that's, that's just like one example of the, how the invitation to engage in the issue is a trap, trapping you into perpetuating the issue because all of that, all of that contention, all that, f that froth and, and, push, you know, all that, that whole war is a distraction from the deeper issues. And no matter which side wins, the issue won't go away. The problem won't go away. So, so I want to say that I'm not saying, oh, I'm just going to sit back and be the cynical observer and let them play out because I'm above it all. I want to, do, to be useful to the evolution of this world. But I'm very wary of the existing solution sets, the existing actions that are offered to us because they're so often part of the problem in ways that we are unconscious of.